G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here. So you'll want to filter your SharePoint pages down to what the title of the page begins with. And you also want to show those same pages in a web part on your SharePoint page. That's the scenario we're going to tackle in this video. So let's jump into the site contents of this page and we're going to go to our pages library. Now, we can filter on the metadata. We can create views of our metadata uh, based on the values of the columns. Now, you can see in our site pages library, if I go to all pages, that we do have our name, our title, and all of our metadata columns here. We can add additional columns if we wanted to as well um, to add and categorize our SharePoint pages and news articles. Now, we have a title column here, but we can filter by uh, this column, but we can't do any, we can only filter by a specific message um, or a, sorry, a, a specific value, right? So anything that has a title of dashboard or anything that has a title of home and it groups those together. But what if we wanted to uh, create a view that showed pages that started with a particular word or um, or a couple of words. So in our case, we're going to filter or create a view based on leadership team message as the page title begins with, right? So let's go and create a new view. So we'll go create new view and we'll go leadership messages. All right, and we'll create that. A public view, there we go. Now, we've got our view. Now, we can't do that starts with from this user interface. So what we need to do is we need to go into edit current view. And then if we scroll down, and yeah, we're in the, the old classic style SharePoint experience here. But if I go down to filter, rather than show all items, I want to select this one. Show items only when the following is true. Now, I want to select the title. So in the title column, and I want begins with, and I'm going to say uh, leadership team message as what the page title should begin with. And I'll click OK. Now, what we'll see is we've got our two pages, right? So if I go back to all pages, you can see I've got these pages here. If I expand these out, I've got collab home, and I've got dashboard, and I've got home, and I've got these two. Now that's all well and good, but what if the cookies, that's on the pages library, but what if we wanted to display or do a similar thing in a web part on a SharePoint page? Well, we can do a similar thing with the highlighted content web part. The, I guess the, the, and I call this the Swiss army knife of web parts because we can do so much with this web part. So we'll jump into, uh, we'll create a new column, a uh, new section, and we'll add a web part, it's the highlight of content. Now by default, it gives us pretty much everything. Um, so the source is this site, we've got documents, and we've got document type of any. Now, I'm going to narrow this down. I'm going to say um, a the page library on this site, it's gonna be the type of pages, but it still shows us everything. But what we can do is we can do some filtering here. So you can see we've got a filter, we've got title includes these words, we could use this. Um, we've got recently added, recently changed, created, modified by, and page properties. So I'm gonna choose page properties and the property I'm going to set is title. Now the title begins with leadership, uh, team message. So you can see how that actually dynamically shows you as your type what pages are going to come back with. And then we've got our layout and everything like that. So if I hit republish now, then you'll see that we've got our pages that start with leadership team message, right? So let's actually create a new team, uh, a new message now. I'm gonna use the new uh, create uh, page with Copilot. So I'm going to choose page. I'm going to go new leadership page. Let's go on the topic of strategy, featuring description and a quote. I'll just leave it like that and we'll hit create. So that's going to create a page for us, all right, using Copilot, using what we've entered in and that prompt that we've filled out there. 
um, and that will create a page title because of what how we've done this. It'll create a page for us automatically that's got leadership team message as the starting uh, words anyway. So on that template, we've got a stream web part that we can add our stream uh, video. It's writing, Copilot's writing our description for us. We've got our leadership team that Copilot's just added. Obviously, probably not accurate, so we'd go back and change it. We've got a quote here, uh, and we've got our message highlights. Looks good, let's keep it, and we will publish that page, all right? So now that that's page, that page has been published, let's have a look and just check to make sure that our filters and our views are working. All right, so I'll just jump back to the home page. Now we can see I've got, I'm just gonna refresh, and you can see that I've now got three pages. So that filter on the page properties title uh, begins with is actually working and working as expected. So if we go to site contents, let's have a look at our view. All right, so we'll go to site contents, we'll go to our site pages library, and we will select our uh, leadership messages view, and you can see that we've got three. All right, so there we go. Displaying content uh, based on page properties as opposed to the metadata in document libraries. We can actually do that as well, both on the library, but in addition to that, using the highlighted content web part, we can actually pick the page properties that we want to filter by as well. Thanks for watching. See you in the next episode.